Anxiety is rampant. Whether it's due to a global pandemic, worries about losing a job or a relationship, social anxiety or any other reason, anxiety robs us of a joyful experience of life. In this video, we'll look at what anxiety is about and what you can do to reduce it. Now, before diving into the information in this video, it's important to note that there are those who experience anxiety disorders that can be diagnosed and treated by psychologists and psychiatrists. If you're experiencing severe anxiety that's preventing you from functioning in life, please search out help from a licensed professional. But for the rest of us, anxiety is just a normal part of life. It's important for survival. Anxiety is a generalized feeling that something feels off, an early warning sign that there may be something dangerous lurking in the vicinity. Fear is basically a more intense version. Fear says that there is definitely something dangerous and that we need to protect ourselves. Our fight, flight, or freeze response is perfectly suited to fear. But in our modern world, where most of us don't really have life-threatening situations to deal with, fear has turned into anxiety. A low-level worry that something might be wrong, something we can't really see in a tangible way. And like fear, anxiety triggers our fight, flight, or freeze response and releases the stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol into our body. But unlike fear, where what causes our fear is usually in our face, the cause of anxiety seems hidden, unspecified, murky. We're never sure the danger has ever passed. We're just stuck with the constant drip, drip, drip of anxiety. And that's why anxiety exhausts us. It never stops. The seeds of fear and anxiety are planted when we have an experience that we call negative. And these experiences often start extremely early in our journey. But the point is that present fear and anxiety are based on events that happened in the past. Something about the present circumstance reminds us of a past experience and we apply the old emotions to the new event, whether it's the same or not. Studies have shown that more than 90% of our worries never come true. And of the remaining worries that do come true, the outcome is much better than expected. So how do we calm the anxiety? Well, first, just knowing that what you're experiencing is likely something from the past that may or may not be related to the present can help. The second thing that helps is to reduce the levels of adrenaline and cortisol in your body. Things like meditation, centering, even just consciously relaxing your body and spending a few minutes observing what's happening for you helps to calm the anxiety. There are some guided meditations on my website that can help you do that. Just see the link in the description below. But the key to reducing anxiety is to find as broad a perspective as possible. Remember, solutions are hard to find when we're stuck with a narrow point of view. For most people, these suggestions help to calm their anxiety. But if you'd like more help in reducing your anxiety, contact me at the link in the description below. If you appreciate this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Till next time, I wish you abundance and joy.